another one. This one's gonna be a house. Um, and this time we're gonna use tissue paper. The reason why I love tissue paper is because tissue paper is transparent. Um, one of the things when working with canvas is the cool texture that tissue paper gives you. Um, well, the canvas, you can see the canvas through the tissue paper. And so when I use canvas, or when I use tissue paper, I can actually still see the canvas through the tissue paper. So again, just gonna cover the canvas. Now, when I'm using paper, I don't cover the sides of my canvas because paper is so um, stiff, it doesn't, it doesn't curve very well. But with tissue paper, it just works just fine. And the wrinkles, all that kind of stuff, that's what we like. We like the wrinkles, we want the wrinkles, so. We're gonna do a scene, a house scene, so. And now, um, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with paint, but there's a difference in paint too. Um, this is an opaque paint, which means that when I put it down onto my canvas, it's going to cover whatever I put down onto it. Um, these paints, Claudine Helmus paints, are transparent, which means when I put them onto my canvas, they're actually just going to color my canvas instead of paint my canvas. But we want some green grass, so we're gonna use green. Vintage patterns you can use, and that's what these patterned after. King Paisley last CHA came out with the green polka dot tissue paper. I love tissue paper. Sure. It's one of my favorite things to use. Sure. Okay, so once that's dry, we're going to come in here and color this. And you can actually color it with sprays too, it would be fine, but we're going to color it with paint. And actually, that might be a little dark. So, what we're going to do. I, 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 I don't know why, I waste paint. That's way too much. <laughs> don't need that much. I'm gonna water it down. Great, love hearing that. Yeah. And as I paint this, because I've watered it down, we're still gonna see the tissue paper underneath it. If this was Claudine Helmut's paints, I could take them and go straight onto the canvas because hers are already transparent. I know. Gonna dry. I mean, it's gonna be non-permanent because that was non-permanent spray. 
hope this cleans off. And you don't care that there was pink on it. I think that is false. No. That is false. No, no care. We don't want it to be purple. Yes, I love it. Okay, so now let's put a coat of Mod Podge on it. Because we have to make the spray permanent. And now we can go on and we can add even more texture. So, like I said, if you have, if the Unity stamps, I wish they were here. They're going to probably be here tomorrow. But you would come in there with these and you could even add. One of the things I love to use is flip flops. The bottom of flip flops have awesome texture on them. And now we've got the basis of our um, of our house. I don't like that turquoise down there, so I'm going to cover it up. a scene so we're gonna do a sun and we're gonna do a house and we're gonna do some flowers and this all comes in the die cut pack um, with the grill and everything so again like you could do two classes out of this in your store totally perfect so then what we're gonna do is Mod Podge on that's a little wet still Actually, let's do it up here in this corner. And I'm starting to see like some kind of stuff kind of turned again. So I guess it's Hey, pretty girls, how are you? We're mod podging on that, and then let's put on a house. And let's do a bird this time. And then how about a flower? Why not? Let's do some flowers. Mm. We got paint on that now. And our bird's like messy. Okay, so once we get that on, then again, the same process as before. We're gonna go in and shade with the pins because we don't want it to look like it's a piece of paper that's on canvas. We want it to look like it's painted on there. So we come in with the pens. Sorry, babe, holy cow. I keep doing that. And we're just gonna shade around everything. And I shade color on color, blue on blue, red on red, because that's what shading is. And you can do this with paint, but I found when I teach that students obviously aren't experienced in it, so the pens just work way better. Line. It's called Design Men and Craft. Who makes them again? Favor Castell. Favor Castell. And they oh. have them here at the show. The one thing about shading it doesn't have to be perfect either. You just put it on there. Let's see how it starts to like bring that into the canvas. We're gonna paint some. texture again. And that's where we do with the rub-ons. We're just going to come in here and add some texture over it. Yep, let's do the fingernail. We don't want it to be perfect. 
But I do want to use that one, so I'm going to open up a different one. Now, with the rub-ons, I always put a coat of Mod Podge over the rub-ons too, after I'm done, because it's like the final thing to fill everything off. put a black line around everything so there's already somewhat of a black line so you know for your customers if they're not comfortable with that they don't they don't have to create that line but like I said before too then you've got the rub-ons that come in there and have all the doodles for you Any of these tags and make a cute little tag of it too. 